<laughs> now let's get into our Killing Joke review. First, we'll start off with a little bit non-spoilers, but we will get into spoilers. So we're going to spend some a short period of time here talking about non-spoiler Killing Joke. All right. So I uh, overall liked the movie. There's, it's definitely, you can tell it's, it's R rated. Yeah. Uh, it did earn its R rating on like Batman versus Superman. <laughs> Comic Justice. Yeah. Ultimate cut. Yeah. But yeah, o- overall, um, there's not, uh, this is somewhat non-spoiler. There's an additional part. If you have read the comic multiple times, like I have, they, they add a little bit more to oh, it yeah, for you. you. Can, I think it's okay to say it. I mean, obviously they have the main comic, and then they've added on a little bit of Batgirl stuff, right? To kind of give you more relation, you could relate to Batgirl and feel, you know, and understand her character a little bit more yeah. going into this. Yeah, so, it's, they they did a great job with that. Oh yeah, no, it was. I think we timed it almost at twenty eight minutes. Mm-hmm. They built of Batgirl stuff, yep. Batgirl and Batman relationships, and like everything that they're building up to. Yeah. So yeah, no, I thought this was great, and there was no there was no cussing. There was a couple bitch and stuff like that, but they didn't use anything heavy like the fuck or anything. Right, like that. they used uh, freaking a yeah. early on. So I actually noted, oh, this isn't this isn't really R rated. And then as it progresses, you're like, okay. <laughs> and it kind of proved to me that you know I don't know if a live action Batman could really ever happen because this is this is pushing those limits there. R rated Batman. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What I say? I think you just said a live action Batman. Ah, this is why they can never do a live action Batman. <laughs> Forget <No>. it, Affleck. <laughs> so they can't do a live action R rated Batman because I, I just think the stories for Batman are just too mentally fucked up, mm-hmm. and this is one of them. And yeah. they're able to make it an anime series and have this limited release, and all these a lot of these comic book nerds are clamoring to it and stuff. Mm-hmm. So they, I think they're going to get their money's worth on this because it's animated and it's been yeah. crap on it. Yeah. You know, and so. Yeah, I, overall though, I thought it was great. I thought they did a good job. I felt it stayed true to the comic. Yeah, yeah, me too. Very I, detailed to the comic. Yeah, actually, I I love that part of it because, like I said, read the comic multiple times. I was waiting for for those parts. And I'm like, wait a minute. And I actually even tried pulling up the digital version on my phone, which I actually don't have, uh, uh, to compare. Because I'm like, wait, am I thinking about something else completely? Because it takes a while. But once it does get to the comic part. Mm-hmm. It, it, it kind of gives you chills seeing that brought to life. Oh yeah, well, life in uh, well brought to the screen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in, I think in yeah. non-panel form, <laughs> right? So. Non-thought and speaking bubbles. <laughs> yes, no reading. <laughs> so perfect for me. Overall, I would give it for my non-spoiler score here. I give it an eight point five. Eight point five. All right, out of ten. Uh, yeah, I was I was right around there at like eight point nine, a little bit higher. I think they could have stretched this out just a tad bit longer, but I guess they did stay, even though they, a- they even added that extra 28 minutes there. Mm-hmm. And so I guess they probably, they stretched this thing out as long as they could, actually. So I was kind of hoping for more. I wanted more. So that shows that it was good. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'd i agree with you on that. Yeah. So that's kind of it on our non-spoilers. Yeah. We're not good at non-spoilers. <laughs> yeah. So go we fuck We just want to tell you everything. Right. So I would tell you anyway, when it comes out on DVD or digital, however you, pre- however you get in. I would get it. Yeah, it's absolutely. definitely worth having in your library. Yeah, definitely up there with one of the best animated films that they've, one of the better animated films they've made yeah. for DC. Yeah, I, I, I can see watching this multiple times. Oh yeah, multiple Easily. times. So now we're going to starting into our spoilers. First, Batgirl is very heavily shown in this, and as her team dynamic and duo with Batman. Mm-hmm. And she, they're after this terribly named criminal named <laughs> Paris France. Yeah. Well, it was like France or something. Yeah. And she well, even makes a joke like, you're kidding. Yeah. Like, she, that, well, that's, that's, his, his that's, his, that's his gangster name, right. Paris France. <laughs> right. Hardcore. <laughs> but I can't remember what his actual, his name was. It was something. Uh, Franz. Franz, or, yeah, yeah. Something like that. And then uh, they said, uh, well, better known as Paris France. France yeah. or something, something yeah. along those lines. So whatever. So the guy with the baguettes are going after her, and he has a huge <laughs> obsession with Batgirl. And yeah, it becomes the big setup here of how he's even doing hookers with red hair right. and putting a, ma- a Batgirl mask on him. Yeah, which I thought that was pretty case. sweet. Yeah, cut out of a pillowcase. Yeah, right, right. Right after he has kind of his first longer run in with her. Right, and he's he's totally getting off on on the thought of her. So it was early on. You can kind of see like, oh, this is a different tone. 
<laughs> oh yeah, like they're, they're... which the comic book is, but yeah, that mean right on. They he, stuck to that. <laughs> he, like, he knocks her out with some kind of gas and stuff, and he's basically saying he's gonna rape her. Yeah, yeah. He, stuff he's like, like, like oh, we got got to start with a kiss. But she escapes. She escapes and is able to lock herself up and keep her from any harm. And and then we had a good what the fuck moment that I don't know if ever has been in the comics. <laughs> I don't think so either. Because Batgirl really wants to be on this case. Batman doesn't want her to because now it's getting personal with this mm-hmm. guy. He's a creep. He's a creep. He's a weirdo. And she pisses off. She gets pissed off at him. Starts fighting with Batman. Yeah, knocks him down. Knocks him down. Pins him. And just starts fucking kissing him, and then just man, her bat suit is so easy to take yeah. off. Yeah, yeah, I, I noticed that. Too. I'm like, okay, <laughs> like bat pajamas, man. Just, <laughs> yeah. just yep. took him right Takes off. Takes it off. Batman cop, cops a feel on her ass. And yeah, just grabbing her ass, and 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 they do it. Yeah, they go to town. Yeah, like, okay. Batman scores. Yeah, for the first... <laughs> good, good for him. <laughs> and, and then he plays. For a guy that deals with criminals and psychopaths, all of a sudden now he's scared of commitment. Right, yeah. <laughs> That's what the gay guy was telling him. <laughs> the, 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 the gay library, whatever the hell he was. I guess he was another librarian. Yeah, yeah just an assistant or something. Yeah, he, he was fantastic. <laughs> yeah, he had some great lines. And and, and so he was the... Uh, he, he was the great bringer of information on relationship <laughs> on relationships, and <laughs> I'm sorry, I just can't get him out of my head. And but so Batman now doesn't talk to her for three days, and then he's circling looking for Potus friends, and he gets ambushed by the guy. Batgirl comes and saves the day, beats the fuck out of the guy, and yeah. the guy is still even on TV saying he loves you. He yeah, wants, he wants to be with her. So and that's that was kind of the last you see of him. Yeah, that's it. Which, which I guess going back to you wanting more, they probably could have elaborated a little bit more on that. What happened to him? Yeah, yeah. I was see the one thing actually. So now, oh, actually, I'll stay in order here. So basically, mm-hmm. after that point, now we get actually into what the actual comic strip. Right. Yep. Clicks right into it, yep. and and it's into the the uh, first part of the the comic book is when he's uh, going to um, Arkham Asylum. Yeah, Arkham. Yeah. And uh, to find the Joker and, and just talk try, to him. yeah, try to talk to him because he's been telling Batgirl this whole time. But there's this level, you know, you don't want to break past this point, yeah, because then you, once you go up there, it becomes scary and everything mm-hmm. else. And I, I guess uh, during his whole crisis with you know his relationship issues with her, he was thinking about, and this is that's where they kind of elaborate on somewhat. It, he was also thinking about, oh, okay, well, this is what I'm trying to teach her. Let me go talk to the Joker. And this is this is why I want to talk to him, you know, and, and it's because eventually, ultimately, they're going to they're going to kill each other, which was kind of uh, they took that and put it in a man of steel because Zod says the same thing. You're going to have to kill me. <laughs> yeah. And there's actually one thing I want to go back to real quick in the Batgirl when she breaks into this mob boss's uh, house to find out the guy killed his uncle. She comes in through the window. And then these guys ambush her, but she decides to go through the whole fucking house in order to escape instead of going back out the window. Oh, I just I wanted to point that out. That. I saw my note here. <laughs> and I wanted to point that out, that Batgirl deserved to die. <laughs> oh, wow. What ultimately does happen to her is kind of bad. But anyway, <laughs> but I just thought that was some of the things, some of the, they make, they make her tough, but yet they make her really stupid. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. And that was, that was a frustrating part yeah. in this, the first 28 minutes where you're like, come on. Like, like I, I, I know you're trying to build on something and I know she's teach young a lesson. and inexperienced. So, but she's fucking. Yeah, that that that's the the part is I kind of thought her as like more of a, a Robin esque, like you know, significantly younger than Batman. And oh, I'm sure she is. He's just robbing the cradle. <laughs> Bill Batman. Oh, dude. and then that gargoyle got a front row. Yeah, <laughs> that was that was a great great shot. Great little pan up, and the gargoyle was just looking down at him. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, with this sm- <laughs> smile. Yeah, I wrote Batgirl's a freak. <laughs> she got it on on top of her rooftop. Okay, so back now we that we guys she get into the actual comic panels. Uh, Batman sits down, starts talking to the Joker. I'm using air quotations if you can see that. Yeah. This guy is just playing the dumbest game I've ever seen. I, it's not even solitaire. It's nothing. <laughs> He's just putting cards. I'm not. I don't know what it is. Maybe people, somebody I, knows. I, I I have no idea. But that was a part right right away. They I remember from. Oh yeah, the, no, I remember that. Yeah, from, from the comics, and I was even kind of making the the flip sound that is on the or it's more of a. 
yeah. <laughs> from the the comics, you know, that they that they put on there. Where I'm like, okay, this is it. Yeah, I have no idea what he's doing. And then the one thing I was wondering was uh, when he realizes it's not the Joker, and he grabs the guy. I actually thought maybe that was the Paris France guy, but I don't know why he would be in Arkham Asylum because he starts yelling at him like, "What have you done?" and blah blah blah. And it kind of looked like him. Uh, yeah, but I was thought, I thought that'd be kind of a weak bring back mm-hmm. i don't know it kind of seemed weird because that guy t- if it was that guy that took the spot and then it seems like joker kind of has this obsession about batgirl a little bit mm-hmm. and i don't know i was trying to tie it in to see if that had anything to do with it i thought eventually at first he was going to become the joker but i also remembered the origin to uh to the joker that they had right, in the, the comic hood, the yeah. Hood, yeah so i was confused where that was going and now uh, the paris Franz guy just kind of disappears. Yeah, I think he just disappears. Yeah, maybe I'm trying to tie things together too much, <laughs> yeah. like Batgirl does to Batman. Ooh, <laughs> fuck! Oh man, the bat light. <laughs> anyway, pretty much this Joker is beyond any level of Joker we've ever seen. Yeah, for the most part, just shows straight up, pops, shoots uh, Barbara Gordon right in the pelvic region. And it hits her spine, which paralyzes her. Yeah. And she's bleeding out. And, and then, then it, they beat the fuck out of Gordon. Yeah. Well, and uh, the kind of sick part was he's making jokes about books. Yeah. And so he knows that she's a librarian, I'm assuming. <laughs> and She's trying to be a table piece, a coffee table. Yeah. and uh, But, you know, the ones that don't get up and, and walk out are the ones with uh with no spine or something something like it's yeah. just kind of weird. like oh fuck i mean he's good he knows he paralyzed her that's yeah pretty, that's that's really good technique and then his henchmen are just beating the fuck out of gordon yeah. like, he's just talking to him in the background you just hear plop plop he's just beating the fuck out of gordon yeah. and he gets dragged out and she's laying there and he you get to see him put pull one button off and then mm-hmm. it cuts away so as you if you've seen the comic you know what happens yeah then Gordon is stripped of his clothes, goes on a fucking ride from hell, I guess it would be. <laughs> yeah, which I actually felt that they toned it. Maybe I wasn't paying close enough attention, but I felt that the ride in in this movie was toned down a little bit more from the comic. Like, I felt like it was a little bit more vulgar in the, the graphic novel. Than... Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah. They, they, this may have been rated R, but it's still a batman movie and they're mm-hmm. trying to keep it in that realm yeah of watchable right yeah yeah <laughs> so instead of making it uh, a vivid video porn right yeah <laughs> uh, some, fucking rape fantasy yeah or something. some kind of weird rape thing going on so basically gordon's going through there he's getting beat up by midgets and they're making sure he watches <laughs> all this and apparently mark hamill got to test out his vocal cords and then he had to sing he had a singing montage. Yeah, there. yeah, I noted that. I said, "Okay, Joker sings during the coaster ride." <laughs> Got a Broadway show going, yeah. and which, which just adds to the twisted fuck that this guy is. And then there's all these freaks or whatever decide to join him. Yeah, and they're just <laughs> dancing along with him. You had like the fat chick doing the cabbage patch or some shit in the background. It was right. fucking weird. And then eventually, by the end of the or what we see anyway at the end of the coaster ride that we think is the end of it uh, is pictures of Gore, of Barbara Gordon, mm-hmm. basically naked, but they don't show anything. Right. It's always cut off before the points. You know, it's right. like just to the top of her thigh, just to the top of her boobs, stomach, pictures like that where she's bleeding, and, mm-hmm. but she's naked. She's. Eventually shows up into the hospital and and Batman is there and he talks to Barbara about how what's going on and she just freaks out and she mm-hmm. starts telling him that he captured Gordon. She remembers, Gordon. Yeah. yeah. She captured Gordon. So he goes on a one man rampage, beating the fuck out of everyone. Yeah. <laughs> just trying to figure out where the Joker's at. And then I I did find it there is some adult themes to it because then he goes to the hookers. Right. And the hooker's like, well, the first place he goes is, is, is here. Is here. I, I don't know why he wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. He needs, you know, he's been in jail. He needs a release. Right. Like, yeah. And I just don't know why. Just I don't think the Joker I don't, fucking. I don't think that. <laughs> <laughs> I did too. That's exactly where my mind went. Like, is his whole body white? And then, and then you get the flashback. You find out he's good in bed, according to his wife. Right. Yeah, he's yeah, good, good in the, in the sack. sack. They, yeah. made sure, they made sure they emphasize that. <laughs> that his dumb ass is. <laughs> and so I'm going to ask you because I we saw it, we just saw it, and I didn't quite catch how did his wife die? She got electrocuted. Yeah, uh, basically it was a freak accident that she got electrocuted trying to heat up a bottle. Is is what I what I gathered? Okay, 
Yeah, which there's there's different ways you can heat it up in a microwave or some sometimes there's like a bottle warmer, but oh, okay. there's, there, and some it was a freak accident. But she didn't have the baby yet. Yeah, the, uh, huh? I don't know. Maybe, I was, I was maybe, very confused maybe, on maybe how she got part. electrocuted. Yeah. It was like a one in a billion chance that she was going to happen, and somehow yeah. It well, the, the guys definitely killed her. The mobsters? I, yeah. You think the mobsters did? I, I'm, I'm Cause pretty sure. Cause, that's what I cause, thought it was leading they, to, but they were so defensive. Right. They're I, like, I, I think it's because they were like, oh, shit. They, maybe they know. And because and they're getting ready. And they're like, oh, nope. We got away with it. And they sat back down real calm. Well, I thought they were more worried about he was going to stooge information. That the cops were there to interrogate him about what's going on. Oh, that could be. And I thought they were more worried about him stooging information about what they were about to do that night. Or yeah. Or soon. Right. I, th- I thought it was a weird coincidence that all of a sudden the cops show up and say, oh, your wife's dead. And then and he, you know, kind of loses it. I, I just thought they were like, okay, well, whatever. We're just going to cut all ties so his wife isn't going to know. Because they're trying to explain, you know, this is how you have to tell your wife. And he's like, oh, yeah, that that that, that was the hard part. It's already done. So I thought they were just kind of making sure, like, okay, we're going to cut loose ends. And I I was assuming they were going to kill him eventually anyways. Yeah, no, that's true. Yeah, for yeah. sure they were going to kill him. Yeah. So I I just assumed from that that they were the ones who killed her. And then, uh, you know. Yeah, I, I guess by the way lady. it was such a freak accident, I would assume it had to be some kind of homicide. Yeah. So anyway, so we'll just move forward from there. And then... Batman gets a message from Joker for his admission ticket to go to the <laughs> carnival. I'm not quite sure what Joker's plan was on this. I guess he didn't feel the level of the the edge where Batman was on someone's going to die here. I guess he was just going on his rampage because he could. Mm-hmm. Because it seems like he invited him here and he's like, there's no way these freaks are going to beat Batman. All these, yeah, the it, knife, the, the two headed knife throwing chick, the right. bearded chick that he fucking, I, I fucking <laughs> flips into the the merry go round, just beat the shit out of the bearded yeah. chick. Well, and then he, and you even said it when we we're watching, he throws something on the mouth of of oh, of one guy, yeah, the big strong man. Myself. Yeah, he throws like a fucking yeah. plastic thing, like a plastic type goo right in right. his face, right over his mouth and nostrils. I'm like, well, that dude's dead. Yeah, he's, he's gonna not suffocate. breathing. Yeah, <laughs> there's no way. He's like. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, it's amazing how Batman's problem is he's not going to kill. He doesn't want to kill the Joker through this. But, yet yeah, I'm pretty sure he murdered, <laughs> yeah. like, like, a couple people on the way there. Oh, Batman doesn't kill. Why is he shooting these people in this movie? Oh, wait. <laughs> it just was funny to me. Apparently because he does this, kill. This is his whole line. Like, this is he doesn't want to kill the Joker. Yep. He, he wants to talk this out before something major happens. <laughs> but, but yes. yet he, he kills the strongman. And then later on, when he's in the, the mirror house... The midgets that are dressed up like Batman are coming through him, and there's like a pit with spikes. Yeah. He just throws the midget down the pit with the spikes. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm pretty sure they have the sound effect too. So it seemed like of the uh, yeah. going. Squ- 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 <laughs> and so, wait, <laughs> this is a midget, and so he kills a midget Batman at least, at least one or two. I think right. he kills. So midgets are not people. I wrote. <laughs> I guess they're not people, so that's why they don't count. So you have the epic fight. Batman just beats down on the Joker. Mm-hmm. I mean, he gets some. And Joker actually gets some good hits in too. Yeah, they actually, you know, they they have a good skirmish back and forth on who's beating who. And then the weirdest thing I've never thought you would ever see in a Batman Joker meetup. Batman just stands there and he's like, "No, we're gonna talk this out." Like, <laughs> yeah, and he, and he's trying to. I it I guess it, it's supposed to be for the overall like uh, you know people are still good they can still overcome because yeah, Gordon shows that he didn't break right he still wants to like bring the Joker, the Joker in yeah he wants to bring the Joker in and, and yeah it's just kind of a weird moment where he's like no I'm not gonna beat you up we're gonna talk this out and I'm just kind of yeah. like talk it out huh yeah well and then the Joker says a joke yeah and... well he basically tells him no it's not right. gonna happen we're yeah. not gonna I'm not gonna be normal. Yeah, I'm not gonna come back. This is gonna I'm not gonna let you try to fix me or anything. And then he tells him this, yeah, it was okay joke. <laughs> and so it's okay joke. And then from that very iconic panel in the comic, Joker's laughing. And then Batman starts laughing, and he yeah. grabs the Joker by the shoulders, and and then Joker's laugh disappears, and it just pans down, and you don't see, and it you pretty much gives the assumption that Batman just choked the shit out of fucking right. Joker. <laughs> yeah. That's how that one ends for the most part. Just like the comic. And mm-hmm. I thought it was it was done really, really well. So Kevin Conroy came back. We had Mark Hamill yeah. come back. I- I'm glad they did. Oh, uh, yeah. wh- whoever was piecing this together, I, I couldn't have pictured anyone else. Yeah, no, that-, that was great. They brought them back. 
Yeah, and I thought it was a great movie. Like I said before, in the non-spoiler area, 8.5 out of 10. When it comes out, definitely get it. Yeah, absolutely. And then we had some after credit scenes, kind of. Showed like two credits. And it shows Barbara Gordon in her wheelchair, talking to her dad over a Bluetooth. And it basically just sets up her Oracle days mm-hmm. now. Because that's what happens. She gets paralyzed from the gunshot and becomes Oracle. Yeah. That day they showed that. Yeah, kind of a cool addition. Yeah. It kind of weird because because I don't know who she's oracling. I guess just oracling, oracling, <laughs> whatever. Who she's helping? And right. Because <laughs> because it's just Batman in this series. I don't know because usually when she does, she helps out the whole Justice League. Right. And so she's supposed to be in the like the Watchtower usually, or she could be in some basement or whatever she was in. Yeah. But I don't know who exactly she's helping. So, but other than that, I thought it was a great. I was, thought it did great bringing those panels to the screen. Mm-hmm. And definitely worth owning. Yep, and great, like we said, great additional footage that they that they added in there. I, oh. I thought it fit really well with yeah, the story. Yeah, it, it definitely brought you closer to Batgirl. Yeah, trying to bring her in, make her more sympathetic character. Yep. So that helped a lot, and that was probably what they wanted, especially because I think they needed that time to actually fill this movie out a little. bit. Yeah. Because <laughs> after seemed, after watching it, it seemed like bringing those quick. panels to life only gave them a 30 minute movie right so <laughs> so they definitely needed to add that extra little bit and they used it well by yep. having batgirl fuck batman yeah i could have yeah, had 28 <laughs> minutes of that right. it'd be great <laughs> just show different faces of the gargoyles yeah. i'm making uh, different uh, faces uh, right now for people that, <laughs> i'm giving a good o face <laughs> so, so. all right so that ends our review of the killing joke and that ends all the great trailer stuff that came out during this weekend at comic-con oh yeah Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and like us and love us on iTunes. Oh yeah, and follow us on all social media. We're at Comic Movie Marks, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. In case I don't see you. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night.